Okay, so with you, Darvish, we know that he went on the IL. It was, I believe, right elbow inflammation. And I believe that the Padres made the right move there, like just shut him down. Now, you, Darvish, then told the media that he intends to pitch for the Padres again this season. Like, that's what he wants to do. And I'm like, why? That's a stupid decision. That, that's, I get the competitiveness, but that's just stupidity. There's no reason why the Padres should allow you, Darvish, to get back on a mound this season. Then, in this St. Louis series, we hear that you, Darvish, is not with the team, and he is in Texas, meeting with his doctor that performed the Tommy John surgery in 2015, Dr. Keith Meister, to see what's up with his elbow. Once someone that's familiar with his elbow did the Tommy John I assume that he saw Darvish's elbow before the Tommy John, saw his arm, so he knows, like, okay, that's what Tommy John, like, you need Tommy John in that spot. So I get Darvish doing that, and I like him doing it, because it we, we might not end up talking about Darvish needing Tommy John and being out for all of next season. But that's obviously where we go when Tommy John is brought up by Kevin AC in his article. It's not known if he needs a second Tommy John. We're obviously all going to look at, oh no, what the heck's going to happen if Darvish needs Tommy John? Well, what's going to happen is he would be out all of the 2024 season, and that's a guy that you're still up five years left on the contract, four years after next season, and you're paying him almost $80 million still for those you know next five years after this season. And Michael Walker could be gone, Seth Lugo could be gone, and you want Pedro Avila to be in the rotation? Blake Snell, probably gone because we know Scott Boris and Scott, uh, excuse me, Boris and Snell, they're going to be asking for the moon. They're going to be asking for more than what Carlos Rodon, Rodon got because Snell's probably going to win the Cy Young. Like, I, it's definitely in their right to ask for the moon and ask for more than Carlos Rodon. We'll see if he gets it. They'll probably be a team that will bite and will do that. Padres don't see them doing that. Don't know if that's the smartest thing for them to lock up a guy that we had questions about going into this season who's been inconsistent at times and he's had a really good, you know, three, four months here, whatever it's been, two and a half months, like really good. But is he going to do that during that next contract? That's obviously a big question. And there's been a lot of long term contracts already handed out by this Padres team. Do they just want to go in the shorter term route? Right. But a lot of the rotation could be gone. And even if it's not, let's say they control Michael Walker, which they can, they bring him back on those club options. That's a lot of money for 2024 for Walker, 16 mil, 2025 for Walker, same amount. And you have Musgrove coming off of a shoulder injury, no Darvish. Or if you do have Darvish, let's say you don't have, you do have Darvish, no Tommy John for him. He's still coming off of an injury and he's not getting any younger. So that's three starters who are going to be the last two. And then you need depth. Who are going to be those depth guys? You're going to bring up Robbie Snelling next year that early. I don't see that. Maybe you bring up Yara Iniarte, Adam Mazur. But like the AAA depth, Ryan Weathers is gone, right? The, the dude that pitched against the Tigers, Jackson Wolf, he's not there. Jay Groom. That's who you're going to trust as a depth guy or bring him up as a five starter in this rotation. I, 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 let's, let's, let's get some better starting options. You know, it just makes you worry. That's my point, obviously. It makes you worry if you, Darvish, has to have Tommy John, this rotation might be in trouble next year. And even if he doesn't have to have Tommy John, there's still going to be plenty of questions going into next season about the rotation. And then there's questions, by the way, about the bullpen. No doubt about that, because the bullpen's been rocky, and I don't assume Josh Hader is going to be back, because I don't want the Padres paying a hundred million dollars to a guy that pitches three days in a row, twice all season long, and pitches one inning at a time. Sorry, not doing that. And even if he did pitch multiple innings, that's still a hundred dollars, hundred million dollars. Wish it was a hundred dollars, hundred million dollars to a reliever. No thanks. There's questions about Robert Suarez. Will he be able to be a really good closer for the Padres? And the guys behind them, will they be able to be consistent? Because there's been some bumpy things. Steven Wilson just went on the IL earlier uh, during this Cardinals series. So there's a lot of questions. And it's just a kick in the nuts 
after another kick in the nuts, another kick in the nuts. Just like Mud said on the broadcast today, after Hader gave up that walk off, this isn't this isn't a gut punch or whatever. It's it's a kick below the belt, a kick in the nuts. There's been a lot of those this season for the Padres where it's like, man, that loss sucked. Man, nothing's going right. Man, Musgrove's hurt. Darvish is hurt. Cronenworth gets hurt, hit in the wrist. No, he's not doing anything, but still, it sucks to see. And man, Xander got hurt. Obviously, was not a hundred percent at this, you know, during this season for multiple months. Manny had to go on the IL. He's playing through a th- uh, a uh, elbow sprain, I believe. That's what Kevin said earlier today. I saw Nando. We know he's not a hundred percent. The weird things that happened with Musgrove with the turf toe. Uh, or not the turf toe, the the running on the turf, the the the, the chamber, the the cryo chamber, whatever the heck they call that thing. It's like another kick in the nuts, another kick in the nuts. All the extra inning losses, the one run losses. It just doesn't stop. So yeah, I, are our nuts going to be able to recover by the end of this off season? Because you know when you get kicked or whenever you, for anyone that has felt that. It sting. It might not feel bad then, but it stings a little bit after, and it might. You're gonna feel it for a little bit. So how long are we gonna be feeling these things? And this Darvis injury, we could be feeling that kick in the nuts, if you know what I mean, for all of 2024. So yeah, hopefully no Tommy John surgery is needed from Darvish. 